a section of Muslim members of parliament has come out to express anger on the actions by the civil society during the demonstration dubbed Occupy Parliament. The event saw members of the civil society carry pigs all the way to parliament, something that saw members of parliament earn a new name and pigs. They then sprinkled blood on the ground for the pigs to feed on. This is a blasphemy and against the principles and teaching of the Holy Quran. Are there no Muslims in Wanjiko they purport to represent? Ukiita mbunge kama yeye ni mulafik kama nguruwe umitutaja sisi kama wa islamu. Uminiambia ama umituambia sisi ni nguruwe. Na hayo ni mambo ambaye hatu ridhiki na hatuwezi kubali kamwe. They are demanding for an apology and are calling on the government to take stern action against the civil society. However, prominent human rights defender Alamin Kimathi, who also is a Muslim, decried the move by the Muslim MPs. Posting on his Twitter page, Kimathi said it is a shame to have Muslim MPs caucus, adding that it was petty to take issue with protesters and with pigs instead of addressing the weighty issues. Yesterday's demonstration has been termed as lawless and a serious violation of animal rights. We are uh, trying to prefer the necessary charges, but remember everybody scattered at uh, that time. A few people were arrested, and uh, you know, when demonstrations leave the area of being demonstrations and turn into public nuisance and threaten public order, then definitely uh, some level of force uh, may have to be used to ensure that these demonstrations do not go out of hand. That's why you saw people being arrested, so that they could answer for their conduct. The involvement of pigs, which are now in police custody, was meant to symbolize the apparent greed of Kenyan MPs who have been demanding for higher pay without considering the welfare of Kenyans.